You there? Hey. You still? I think they're moving. Oh. Me? Pokes. I think they're there. Poke, 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 poke. Are y'all there? Did you miss us? Because you think you're censored, but then you no, watch. Stop. You need to move away from me. <laughs> but then you watch the whole video and you're like completely not. So yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hopefully this is good. I hope you don't watch the video. I'm like, oh my god, my left cheek is cut out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where are we been? In class. Where's Chelsea? Where's Chelsea? Where's Chelsea is the real question. Where's Walt? No. <laughs> the real question. Really, though. We have been studying constantly for a month. And we've literally had no time to do anything. Okay. So first, we're going to talk about the science course sequence and kind of like how mm -hmm. the science courses are set up along the four yeah. years. So you're going to be talking to your advisor and your schedule is going to change depending on your own situation. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, with science majors, biology, chemistry, health science, biochem, whatever, whatever, whatever. Chem yeah, you said chemistry. I said biochem. Well, science major. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, your first year you're going to be taking maybe one science course mixed in with all the foundational courses you have mm -hmm. to take as a freshman. Mm -hmm. Then your sophomore year, it's maybe two per semester. Mm -hmm. Junior year, you get the truckload with three or four. <laughs> Boom! It's like, you're in your major. You're yeah. in your major. Exactly. Like, that's when you do your major. And then yeah. senior year, it can be more chill. Just anything you're maybe a semester behind on, you're catching up on, and you're yeah. really focusing. Just, most of the science majors are focusing on applying to grad school, and med school, mm -hmm. all that kind exactly. of stuff. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So, I really want to talk about knowing that you want to be a science major coming into Spelman. Mm -hmm. um, I know that they really emphasize that, oh, you're just freshmen, like, you don't have to have your life together, blah, blah, blah. That is very true. Like, you don't have to have a 10-year plan. You probably should start working on your four-year plan. If you think, if you have any interest in the medical fields and science fields, anything. Basically, if you're not... 100% sure you do not want to be a science major, you should start taking science classes. Exactly. Because it's easier to play catch up in pretty much any other major. Whereas with sciences, you don't want to go in and figure out maybe your sophomore year that you mm -hmm. want to be a science major and then start off taking three science classes. Exactly. Because you're going to be playing catch up your entire And then a lot of them are prerequisites for the next For month. other classes. So exactly. you're going to end up prolonging how long you're going to have to be in undergrad exactly like i can um talk about my case mm -hmm. i uh, first came into school as a computer science major and then after my first semester i decided that i wanted to be a biology major so the computer science class i took it's fine computer science is a requirement here at spelman and also the class i took fulfilled the computer science the, spe the specific computer science class you need as a biology major mm -hmm. so i got the credit i didn't waste my time that's fine but the thing was, I should have been taking a biology class, um, something fulfilling my major instead of that computer science class, because there's certain classes you have to take before mm -hmm. you take the DAT, which is the pre-dental test in my case, or the MCAT if you want to go to medical school. So like, um, it's especially important if you want to go to a medical school, a dental school, a nursing school. Um, some professional school like that because there's a core sequence that you have to hit before your senior year. Most majors, as long as you get all your classes in, by yeah. the time you graduate, you're good. Mm -hmm. But there are certain classes you have to take before you take your test. So mm -hmm. like your schedule is even more important. And so now I'm in the situation that I took the second level biology class this semester, but next semester, my fall semester of my sophomore year, I'm going to have to take biology 120, which is the third level class, and then I'm also going to take biology 110. And so I'm taking the first and the third at the same time, and it's not going to be bad because the first biology class is usually not the hardest class, obviously, <laughs> but it is putting a little extra stress on my schedule, and it's going to be more reading and more, it's another science course. Mm -hmm. 
and um, it's okay and it's okay to switch in it's okay to change your mind but basically all we're saying is if you're thinking that you might want to do that it's easier to start off as a science major and then switch into another major like English or psychology or poli sci um, rather than starting off as that major and switching mm. into a science major because science is a requirement anyway so even if you take a class first semester and you're like I hate bio don't want to be a bio major <laughs> yeah at least you got your science requirement out of the way mm -hmm. so you didn't waste your time but you're not necessarily behind in your core sequences for other majors so it's all good so this is the first year they've ever had a health, health career health, health science health science health, science, health <coughs> this is a club you can do yeah but health science major mm -hmm. so i'm a biology major she's a health science major and originally before this year most um, pre-medical, pre-dental, pre-whatever students were biology. Yeah, were biology, chemistry, psychology, biochem. Um, but now they specifically have a major for people that when want to go into health the health science. fields. And it's not just for pre-medical students. Um, there's a lot of physical therapy there's students. There's nutritionists. Nutritionists. There's dental. There's, mm -hmm. there's anything Any health, health field. There's people that want to go into public health or mm -hmm. um, go the PhD route, um, even hospital administration, things like that, because you take a lot of classes that are human body specific. Yes. And that's the difference. Rather than just general overall biology or right. general overall chemistry. Right. So I'm going to talk about biology. I'm in biology 115 now. Mm -hmm. So pretty much how my class is set up, uh, my class goes from 1 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. It's a double block class. So we go into a lecture room in the Science Center from 1 to 2, and she has a PowerPoint, and she lectures over the readings that we have. And then um, there's a transition period. We just get up and we move to the lab. And then in the lab, we'll do a lab experiment. And basically, that experiment will be testing what we've learned in the readings. And so pretty much how you know what to read, on Moodle, which is like the little online thing that we use here at Spelman, you'll, you'll get it, trust me. They're going to tell you about it at NSL. They're going to tell you. You're going to be tired of Moodle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're going to be tired of it. Yeah. So basically, um, they upload. It's very organized. I love it because I'm like very like, I need organization. Like I need a plan. And so they upload um, the unit is what they call it. Mm -hmm. And so basically, they have all the modules um, that you need to read in the textbook. And then um, I have it twice a week. I have I have it on Wednesdays and Fridays. So basically, they'll say Wednesday, and then they'll have the date, and they'll be like, have 141, 142, 143 read. And then they'll be like, by Friday, have these three modules read. So each week, they'll typically be three to five modules, pretty heavy reading. And, um, and they also upload the PowerPoints online. And so that's pretty much. So pretty much, you need to read before class, and then it's lectured on, and then in lab, you kind of, it's kind of like testing out the information that you've learned. So in addition to the modules that they upload, they will also upload the labs before class. And this is one thing I had to learn. I recommend like opening the labs the night before and just kind of reading through it, because normally they're not that hard. And my lab class is not very big, so the teacher is very helpful. But it's very nice. I'm realizing time management is a very big thing in labs. And whenever you come in with the knowledge from the reading and you know exactly what you're doing, so the teacher is not telling you it the first time, she's just kind of reminding you of what you were doing, then you're so much more successful and you're so much more efficient in lab and you just, you catch on to more things because instead of it being your first time you're introduced to the lab, it's just like, okay, yeah, I read that already. And she's just kind of like reiterating it to you. Mm -hmm. so I think another thing I would say, biology is very research uh, focused, specifically at Spelman. And they want more black women to earn PhDs and to do research. They say Bio 110 is the reading class. You're gonna do a lot of reading in that class. They say Bio 115 is the speaking class. There's a big emphasis on presentations and things like that. And the presentations is not graded on completion. You could have the perfect PowerPoint, but if you get up there and it doesn't flow, and you botch your presentation, you have too many ums, you look unprepared, they take a lot of points from that because they're grooming us to 
to know how to present, know present, how to speak. Yeah. Not just present in front of no, your sisters. A lot of at conferences. what they teach you is how to look like you know what you're talking about and not just look at you, how to know what you're talking exactly. about. So there is a lot of overlap between how things are done in biology and how things are done in chemistry, especially mm -hmm. during the first year. I can't speak on too much after that. But basically in chemistry, chemistry is honestly a teach yourself kind of course. You have to go in with a game plan for yourself. You need to set aside time for yourself because you are responsible for your own learning. Mm -hmm. So. How is it? How Mama I go? Shelly. Mama Shelly. You are responsible. Ah, you are responsible for your own <laughs> oh, learning. Girl. Don't <laughs> I love <laughs> yourself. <laughs> so basically how it's set up, there's a lecture in a lab. You have lecture four times a week and then lab once a week. Um, lab lasts about three to four hours, three, three hours, I think. And then the lecture is four times a week, but it's one hour each. So in the lecture course, your professor is teaching about 50 people at once. Um, and they have a PowerPoint going and she's basically, or he, I don't know, is walking through basically this, what's going on in that chapter. And that is the perfect time to ask your questions. Mm -hmm. The best way to know you're gonna ask your questions is to have your questions ready. Yeah. So we're gonna dip into this a little later, but um, I wanna say how to study for chem and how to learn in chem, because you're not gonna learn if you just go to class. If you are not doing work for yourself, you are not going to learn anything. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is they'll put up, they'll put the PowerPoint online and you also you have your textbook. And it says on the syllabus what you're going to be going after that day. They stick to the syllabus pretty strictly, especially That's a good point. Mm -hmm. in science classes. So what you go and mm -hmm. you go in, you say, okay, today we're going to be doing chapter one, sections one and two. I need to have my notes ready from chapter one, sections one and two, mm -hmm. and possibly three because you never know. They might get ahead of themselves and they have. And so I do all my notes in black pen, and then if there are any practice problems mm -hmm. or like example questions, write them out, no matter what. Because when you're going back later saying, this is how you find the mass number for this, is like, okay, cool, I don't know what that means though. But if you have the equation written out, and then you have an example of how to use the equation written out, and like how it's done, you can walk through and remind yourself how to do it, and then you're actually learning. So what I do is I'll go through, I'll write all the notes in black pen, I'll do the practice problems, even if I don't get the practice problems, I can see how it's done there and just write it out. And then in class, a lot of times I'll go to her and ask, like when she gets to that part of the section, I'll raise my hand and be like, hey, I get that, but in my notes, this happened and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm gonna stop the class, but they gonna learn something. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing. But when you're in class, I have a different color pen, I have like a pink pen, and like anything she says that's like extra that I didn't quite get from the textbook, I'll write in and like put that in the sidebar, like have extra space there. Mm -hmm. And then you have to go back and you teach yourself and you learn it again. Mm -hmm. In lab, which is the other part of it, it's a three hour course, but before lab, you need to do your pre-lab. So you have to get your book, and it says what the lab is going to be, and then the teacher usually uploads a PowerPoint reiterating what the lab is going to be. Mm -hmm. And so just like in biology, the lab is based off of what you've been learning that past week. Um, I don't really know how to explain the example. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. It explains, I yeah. promise. Um, the different chemicals, like if you're learning about mass numbers, you're going to have to find the mass numbers of the chemicals that you're mixing, and you're going to see how it applies to your lab, yeah. and then that's going to be due the next week, you'll have your calculations and how you mm -hmm. did what you did and how you done did it. <laughs> so yeah, I think yeah. that's the overarch of chemistry. Chemistry yeah. is a teach yourself, yeah. learn it yourself, yeah. love yourself. Yeah. And I think the theme pretty much um, for our classes is to have your notes ready have your beforehand. You shouldn't be writing down like the when your teacher's lecturing. That shouldn't that shouldn't be your first time, time hearing this information. It. Like that should be she should, should be, be putting it me. back into your brain. Okay. And so. we've talked a lot about lab, but the most important thing about lab is your lab group. On the first day, no, <laughs> it is the Hunger Games. Okay, it's actually the hung actually the Spellman Games. Who is volunteering his tribute for your grade? <laughs> Honestly. Like, you think we're being dramatic? No. You're going to see. Find yourself a pita and Katniss that stuff. And you better, you better. Do, 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 do. Salute to <laughs> Whatever they do. You better get it popping. Mm -hmm. So. Do it for your district. Do it for your lab group. Do it for your grade. Do, <laughs> do it for, it for your, your GPA. Grade. 
day to do it for your sleep, do it for your peace, do mm -hmm. it for your stress. So this is either the time to get with your friends or do not get with your friends. Know what kind of friends you have in your lab class. It's good when you're scheduling your classes, get people who you know are going to work hard to be in your class with you so exactly. they can be in your lab group with you. You need like-minded people. Mm -hmm. And so you have different types of friends. You have the friends that you can go hang out with. You go have party, the friends the that like drama. You have the friends that you study with. Mm -hmm. And sometimes those friends might overlap. Your friends that are going to spill the tea to you. Yeah, are not are going to spill the chemicals with you yeah. too. <laughs> The friends that spill the tea might be spilling the chemicals. Spill the chemicals. <laughs> might, I mean, that's, I like that. <laughs> and so we touched on this earlier on how to take notes. Um, basically, you gotta do it yourself. The class is actually a review. Mm -hmm. Do not depend on your teachers to teach you. They're professors, they're not teachers. They will profess that's the truth. That's fact. But they will not teach it to you. Oh, you I think say. that's everything you need to know about being a science teacher. I think y'all are going to be um, popping next year. Yeah, prepared. exactly. Um, if you have any more questions, the link to our Ask at them is down there. Down there somewhere. I'm sorry. We've been getting lots of questions, and I'm really excited about it. I Yay. really like it too. Um, so excited. I love y'all yeah. so much. Just like... It warms my heart. One, if those of you who have talked to me so far, like I know it's so it's cool. So but now we're like high key rambling. So yeah, that so, whole yeah. Monday and Thursday upload schedule. That was cute. Very cute. Gonna be uh, honest, not realistic for science majors, especially um, science majors. We have a lot of extracurriculars also because we're trying to stay involved and everything. We have a lot on our plate and we, we have, have to like making friends. Yeah. So I join everything. Yeah. <laughs> we have to make another video about that. But, um, basically we're trying to balance different areas of our life and, um, our studies are ultimately the most important thing. I love doing this. Sorry. We love doing this. Go to church, go to class. Yeah. We can't teach you anything if we're not being successful. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we have, have to, to make sure our hashtag Summa Cum Laude Hotties is still is hashtag. Still accurate. It's still accurate <laughs> it's still in a year. Accurate. We can't mess up our GPA yes. now. So um, don't drop that GPA. Hey, don't, don't drop, drop that GPA. GPA. Don't drop that GPA. Don't drop that GPA. Don't drop that GPA. So. What we discuss is changing that schedule to once a week. So we believe Mondays will be the new upload day. Yeah. So you can expect a video every Monday. That's a much easier schedule to maintain because there's a lot that we do to and there's prep a lot for these that videos. We want to do. Exactly. Oh my god, we have so many like we have a Google Doc. <laughs> we probably have enough ideas for the next four years. Like no exaggeration. no exaggeration. No exaggeration. So yes, we love this. We're not going anywhere. We still here. We still here. We love you guys. We love. Mm -hmm. We are so thankful for you guys. Thankful for the support. And yeah, y'all get it popping. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> You gotta do. <laughs> oh my! She's trying to make me something that I'm not <laughs> on the internet. Okay. Right. Hey. Hi. Is this show talk? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is my RA Trevor. <laughs> Best RA, y'all better pray that y'all get Trevor next year. No, y'all. This is not. You're gonna are the best. Okay, this is my adopted. Resi. I don't actually live here. I'm just here all the time. <laughs> my adopted Resi, and this is my future RA. Hey. I'm so proud of her. What are y'all talking about today? Um, where we've been. Where we've been. What it's like to be a science major as our first year. Ooh, 
Y'all been missing from the people? Yeah. Because we've been being scientific. Yeah. <laughs> right, in midterms and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? Life so. got real. Oh, this is, oh, this is y'all instruction list. Ah! Oh, this is what? It's fine, it's still recording. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh. So this is Spellman, what is it, Spellman 20? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. That's so And 21, weird. 22, and 23. Uh, 47. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I haven't been born yet. We come to spell minutes. Yeah, it's so fun. It's I'm about to go eat. Yeah. It is yeah. nasty cat. Y'all, don't eat it the cat from the weekend, okay? <laughs> this is real. Love yourself. Love, love, love yourself. yourself. <laughs> eat out. You know what I'm saying? Just treat, don't go to the cat for Treat yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> 2016. <laughs> Bye, Bye Trent. Go best friend. That's my best friend. Uh, All right, uh, you uh, tell her. Throw the science in the circle. Hey, throw the science in the circle. Y'all, we're not being ratchet and like stacking my phone on textbooks. Anymore. Wait, story time. Uh, Before this point, we've had Chelsea's phone on top of a bunch like binders of binders and books. <laughs> and now we officially have like we fancy an official tripod. We fancy because we know how to use Amazon. Long time coming. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>